Hi, I'm Ali, a girl with a Russian passport, but a global citizen in my heart. I lived abroad and recently came back to Russia and started to travel to the most remote, of the beaten path places of the country. A month ago, my channel was called a source that shows the criminal culture instead of the Russian culture, even though I never made political videos and simply continued to show you my travels. Despite all of that, I've decided to continue sharing the life of regular people in different parts of the country. Recently, I came back from my expedition to the very far north of Russia. Three months, 10 cities, about 10 villages, six republics, nine flights, four northernmost trains, more than 30,000 kilometers, one lost drone, and one hurt leg. And now I can finally say that I finished my expedition and ready to share it. And in this video, we're going to Yakutia. Yakutia, or the Sakha Republic, is the largest region of Russia. Its size almost equals the territory of India, and if it was a country, it would be the eighth biggest one in the world. The average temperature in winter here is minus 40 Celsius. The winter lasts from October till April. Why travel to such a harsh place? Let's find it out and discover one of the wonders of the far north of Russia. I just arrived to Yakutsk from the airport. I took seven hours flight from Moscow. Time difference with Moscow is six hours and I want to sleep so badly. But I have to be leaving already because today I'm planning to see one of the wonders of Saha Republic, which is about four hours drive from here. The group is only waiting for me and I hope that they didn't leave yet. Okay, I've got everything. Let's run! The road to the Lena Pillars is quite tiring. If you come from Moscow, you will need to take 7 hours flight to the city Yakutsk. By the way, you can find flights to Russia or within Russia on Avia Sales, which compares the prices and flights of all the airlines, so that you can choose the most convenient and cheapest ones. You can use my affiliate link to find the flights in the description. Well, from Yakutsk you can take a ship tour to the Pillars in summer. It lasts 3 days and costs about 10,000 rubles per person. But in winter you can simply drive on the oh, river. We will be driving for 60 kilometers on the ice of the Lena river. And there is an actual road cleaned on the river and cars or trucks up to 10 tons are allowed to drive here. Our car is about a ton and a half, so we're good. I will get your reaction. If do you like this massage? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, do some people confuse Serbia and Siberia? No idea. It's a completely different story. You know, Siberia is a region in Russia and Serbia is in Balkan. You know, it's Southeast Europe. But yeah, I just heard that some people do confuse yeah, <laughs> sometimes they are confusing with uh, Syria also, you know, it's uh, similar oh, sounds. Syria, Serbia, Siberia. So similar sounds, but completely <laughs> different story. Serbia and Siberia are different places. Please remember that. When I was at school, we learned the names of the biggest rivers of Russia. Volga, Yenisei, Lena. And I feel like a real adventurer to be standing on the ice of Lena River. And behind the Lena Pillars.
The Lena Pillars is a chain of steep rocks located along the right bank of the river Lena. They were produced by the region's extreme continental climate with an annual temperature range of almost 100 degrees Celsius, from minus 60 in winter to plus 40 in summer. The pillars were formed around 400 years ago as a result of the erosion of the Cambrian limestone that formed around 530 million years ago. Some scientists consider this place as the birthplace of human civilization. Archaeological research shows that the first people appeared in these places, and many petroglyphs are found on cliffs along the banks of the river Lena. There is a saying that Russians are never cold, but maybe it's because Russians are wearing valenki felt boots and foreigners wear sneakers when it's minus 30. Maybe that's why? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> if you are watching my channel not for the first time, you've probably guessed already that my plan here is to climb to the top of the pillars. Lena Pillars has a height ranging from 150 to 300 meters, and there are a few scenic viewpoints on the top. It took me about 40 minutes of hiking to get there. It's worth climbing here. Just look at this magical fairy tale forest. Seems like we're here for a long time. We're just a little bit stuck here on the way back, so we need to dig out the car. The real Russian driver needs to be a strong man. Workout. Тренировка. Seems like it's not digged fully yet. Welcome to <laughs> Thank God that I'm here with four men. The pillars are located in a very remote, uninhabited area. There are only rivers and stretches of desert that flank the cliffs of Lena. However, across the river, in front of the Lena pillars, there are summer guest houses. These houses stay empty in winter, though. There is only one man who stays here during the whole year round. This is Ivanich, a man who is living all alone in this village in front of Lena Pillars. А чем здесь можно заниматься в свободное время? Ну, свободного времени нету. Да? Конечно. А что вы делаете? Ничего родная, это же тени город лежать. Что вода, лед, все у тебя есть. Здесь и воду, и лед надо, и все надо, и дрова нужно. И пожрать. Пожрать надо, сходить, тайгу что-то добыть. Угу. И туристов еще выкопать. Лучше закопать. Как раз хотел сказать. Being stuck somewhere in the middle of a frozen river 
is no joke. But now we can continue our trip. <gasps> Just look at this Russian strongman. Wow. It's popular to brag about travels to places like the Maldives or Cairns. Maybe it's natural that people strive to visit these sites, just as the birds throughout the ages fly to the south, people as well rush to warm places for their vacation. I'm not excited about those places though, what really makes me feel the awe and takes my breath away is the beauty of the north, the soundless, calm, white and aesthetic. Well. We safely got back to Yakutsk. The Lena pillars were gorgeous. I would describe it as silent beauty. This is what comes to my mind when I think about the north. It's so calm, all white and silent. Or as Jack London once said, white silence. The scariest natural phenomenon of all, yet the most breathtaking. Being stuck in a car in Yakutia in winter is no joke. We were very lucky that we were able to dig out our car from the snow in about an hour today. Because our driver told me a lot of stories when tourists in Yakutia would lose their way or their car would stop running and they would freeze to death in their car. Some people know how to act in these situations and they would burn the tires of their car, burn everything just to stay warm and they were able to wait until the help comes and they were rescued. But some people don't know what to do in these situations and they freeze in their car. And now, of course, the roads in Yakutia are becoming safer and safer, better and tomorrow I'm going to start a much longer journey, 1000 kilometers away from Yakutsk, farther north in Sahara Republic, to the coldest inhabited place on the earth, Aimekon. There it is said to be about minus 50 Celsius now, it might get even colder. And I'm Russian, but I've never experienced such low degrees, so I'm very excited to know at least how it feels, you know, and to see how people live in the pole of cold. So I hope that you will be joining me for that trip as well. And I'm gonna make a lot more videos from Yakutia, from Yakutsk and other northern cities of Russia. So don't forget to subscribe and join my next journeys. And Thank you a lot for supporting my channel and for watching my videos.